hey guys welcome back to my channel if you haven't subscribed i'm waiting for you to so just take you one second click it down there if you're looking for it down there it's for free don't say pay anything subscribe before you come and hear just because yeah it's quarantine entertainment we entertain ourselves so today i'll be talking about you know my experience with uae weddings or in uae wedding let's put it like that their wedding here is little it's 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 interesting but you know as a lagos girl <laughs> as a lagos babe we party like a monster like we are the party gurus we rock you already know we rock that's it as a nigerian lagos babe now the party has to be <laughs> extra <laughs> like the diff let me look at the nigerian weddings and UA weddings there's like it's, there's like a really 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 big difference like big 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 difference nigerian weddings you know it's the guys and the girls together everybody's in a big hall party the music is going everybody's dancing and getting leads there's nothing you know like what was that word ah. I think my brain is still sleeping but wait when i remember the word i put it there there's no restrictions yes that's it there's no restriction like we are partying we are enjoying alcohol is flowing food is flowing chops is ah i swear now i'm even missing legal safe i'm missing a jam wedding but when it comes to the uae wedding yeah, it's totally the opposite like opposite but it's still interesting G like so cool like the men they do their wedding separately the women they do their wedding separately like when I mean separately, I mean the guys do it maybe on a different day, the ladies do it on a different day. Or oh, yeah. Or maybe in a different location. Men, they are there. I mean, you know how the culture is here in, in the UAE, you have to cover your hair, you know, another man cannot see cannot see you as a lady, you're not married to the man, or you know, the man is not family, he can't see any of your body, you know, you can't expose your body to even your hair, you can't. So it's different. Like the wedding is when it comes to the ladies, ah, these women are dressing up. <laughs> they can slay. Trust me, you ain't women can slay. They can wear up and down. Like they are like when it's wedding time, like they are always looking extra, like extra beautiful. When I mean extra, <laughs> their hair is always flowing. They're always looking gorgeous. The weddings don't happen during the day. It's not like Nigerian weddings, like we do it from you go to the church in the morning, afternoon, the this thing, the reception has started, you know, you party, party with the family. Then when it's like evening, you know, the young people come in and it's like turn up to like whatever time. And if you want to even do after party, you go to the club and do after party. It's not like that at all. Here is like, they do their weddings like in the evening, like at night. So it starts from like 8 p.m. They have the hall. Like the last one I went for was my best friend's wedding and it was lit. Like this girl had me crying. I saw my best friend coming in a wedding gown. I'm like, oh, bitch, you look cute. <laughs> she looked like a she looked like a princess, like a queen. Like, you know, fairy tale, fairy tale ending. That's how she like she looked so beautiful. And I was crying. I was literally crying. Her sister after no, her sister had to get me tissue. Like I was dabbing my eyes. I was crying. The wedding was like was beautiful. The ladies they dress extra extra nice their dresses are always on point there's nothing like ashway b and when i say ashway b for those that don't know what ashway b is it's like you know like family clothes or the party clothes like there's a it's not like a uniform it's like okay this my dress now i picked this color for my wedding so everybody has to come in this color like you have to if there has to be a touch of this color in everybody's dress like sometimes we have like natives lace ankara or whatever it is that we share like you know you buy then you give it to your tailor they make a really nice dress for you i'll try to like maybe do for i don't know but i'll try to insert a picture next so you guys will see of what i mean by ashwabi be like I'll, I'll try to post something yeah so uh they come in with like the big hall it's just females in the hall you know they come in with their buyer and when they come in they take it off and then you see their dresses they're looking pretty they're looking extra like 
the wedding, food is flowing. The wedding time for the music, they play. See, these people they like African music. They like Afro beats, like they play Afro beats, they play the Arabic. And me, I'm already getting used to that. You know now, the Arabic music, like we're already getting, I'm already getting the dance steps. Little, but it's, I'm getting it. See, they're turning me to an Arab, small, 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 like this. We are turning, but it's just there's a really big difference about the wedding. Like, the wedding is always there. I've been to like three weddings in the UAE since I've been here, and it's just it starts at eight and ends maybe like 11, 12. You know, you're in the hall, everybody sits down, then they have like this moment where. The bride comes in with her father or her brother you know or somebody from the family like the male so that period of time everybody the ladies they cover their hair they wear bias or something just cover up their body so if it's a male following her in like they don't see their body so they walk them like they walk the girl in and it's like you know they play this really nice music and they just walk in and then you just see her coming like cameras flashing <laughs> She's like, ah, girl, you look fine. You know that kind of thing. It's just really, it's just really a very, very great experience. Experiencing their wedding. Like their wedding, but it's like opposite. As a Lagos girl, you got to party. Like you can't go to a wedding and you do Like from the entrance, alcohol is flowing. They don't drink alcohol at their weddings. No alcohol. You know how Islamic religion is, so you have to respect it. No alcohol. But the drinks are flowing. Food is flowing. Like... You have fun. This is pure fun without alcohol. But Nigerian wedding, you know how it is. Everything is flowing. Even some wedding you go, they are giving shisha. <laughs> you will yeah, you sit down there, you enjoy yourself. So it's just, well, so far so good. I like their wedding here. But it's just different. Like, the way they go about it is just way different from Nigerian wedding. I know I know. I have some of them that be like, oh, they love to experience Nigerian wedding. They want to see how it is. And I'm like, girl, if you try it. <laughs> You don't want to go back, like you don't want another wedding. You just want to sit down there. This is going to be a this is this is how you be like. They finish this next wedding, bring the next wedding in. I'm here. I don't want to go. Like you would have fun. You would have your fun for Nigerian wedding. You know? We are the party monsters. So yeah, that's my experience. I think that's really like the difference there. Yeah. What else? They always decorate the bride's house like before the marriage, maybe like the week or the weekend for the week of the wedding. They have their weddings like, it's majorly Friday night, Saturday nights. That's it. Thursday night, do they have Thursday night? I don't know, I'm not sure. No, they don't have time to dress up on Thursday. So it's always like Friday, Friday majorly Friday nights. Yeah, and like that week, you know, the bride's house, they pull lights, they decorate it. I don't know, I still, I think I have a clip from my friend's wedding. I'll try to insert it. Decorated and it's always marvelous. Like the whole compound, the pool light is always beautiful. Yeah, so I also forgot one detail. Like at the end of the wedding, like then when she has, like, you know, they'll walk around, they'll show family will go meet her, they'll take pictures. Then at the end, the husband comes in to take his wife. Like he walks in, you know, they play the nice music, then they sit down, family comes, like the parents, like, no, the mothers, they come or you know sisters they come to sit down with them they take pictures pictures party party and then he takes his wife home yeah before the whole wedding ceremony they always have like the male child that's like our engagement yeah male child you know it's just like family and friends gather together party but without the male it's just female as well the male i think they'll be in like another room where you know that's why they signed the whole marriage certificate and do all that so that's before the main wedding but if you have your male child like uh let me say you have your male child now we're in april you have your male child in april if you don't do your wedding if your wedding is not like if you're not doing your wedding immediately next like immediately maybe the next weekend or something or the next month dude you're still not married you still can't be seen out together like you guys are still not married unless you do the part even though you signed the marriage certificate and you guys are like legally married it's not all you guys cannot live together you still can't be seen in public together because you're not you're not you've not done you know the whole traditional thing so you have to wait until the lady even if the male should do his wedding you have to do until the last ceremony like the lady does her wedding when she's done with her wedding and you come to take her officially then 
you are married. But if you don't do it like that, but like my friend, her mutual was like last year, yeah, before I traveled, I think it was November. Was it November, yeah? Even the husband did his own wedding last year, but because <laughs> she hasn't done her own wedding, she did her wedding this year, February, ending of February. So, like, was when she did her wedding, they were like, yeah, officially, officially married. So, you see the difference. Nigerians, even when the guy, before you even maybe propose to you, engage you, like, you guys already live it together. When now we propose, you guys can still be living together. Then maybe before the wedding, you guys have like two weeks or a week apart. Then you do your wedding. Oh, All this nonsense. They don't do it. Yet. They don't. Okay? I think yes. That's it. that's the difference on the wedding on uh that's the difference I have between Nigeria and UAE wedding. But trust me, you would enjoy yourself in a UAE wedding. It's just you know the tradition, you have to respect it. And I like the way they respect their tradition here, like like hands down. I love it with all my heart. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'll see you in my next video for our next chat. Stay tuned. Alright, alright, make sure you come back. Make sure you turn on that notification. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like it, share. When you like it, it really helps me. When you subscribe, it helps me a lot. Alright, see you in my next video. Bye.